lived over in Missoula County and spent all my spare time out in the woods. And I can tell you, I saw with my own eyes the destruction of a national treasure. And there's, I, I know a lot of people out in the rural areas, ranchers and people that just live out in the woods, and a lot of them are pretty mad. Some of them don't like to drive in town. So we want a shoot on site policy for wolves. We don't want to fish, wildlife, and parks selling any more wolf tags. We don't want any more collaring and flying. While the wolves are scurrying around our neighborhoods in western Montana, killing, in my case, uh, you know, the whitetail right outside the house, they are flying around just collaring and turning them loose. They are thwarting wildlife services, and I've heard a story that they even made wildlife services take off their neck snares and put on leg snares so they could just collar and turn them loose. We want a bounty on wolves. These wolves are infested with a deadly parasite. Um, Idaho tested four, uh, they tested five wolves and four of them were infested with the Echinococcus granulosis. This parasite was not in our ecosystem prior to the introduction of the wolves. And I have documentation if anybody needs it. The other thing we want is the resignation of Joe Marien. Him and his boss have overseen the destruction of our game herds, the mule deer, the grouse, the moose. He should hang his head in shame and go to a state where the her their hunting heritage is not guaranteed in the Constitution. We want fish, wildlife, and parks out of the wolf business. They have hid behind the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service all this time. Now their true agenda is revealed. They have no interest in protecting the wildlife, the ranchers, or even my grandchildren, who now I have to worry about even being outside. The wolves are rampant, and we want them gone. And we want the re people responsible for their introduction to be held accountable. And that includes the current crew.